and thank you for joining us for another installment of California Employment News, a video and podcast resource from the Labor and Employment Group at Weintraub Tobin to provide you with employment law updates and best practices. My name is Beth West, and I'm a shareholder at Weintraub Tobin and chair of the Labor and Employment Department. Today, our topic is the new designated person classification under the California Family Rights Act and the Healthy Workplaces Healthy Families Act. You've probably heard the new term used, designated person, but do you know what a designated person is? On September 29th, 2022, Governor Newsom signed AB 1041 to expand leave rights under the California Family Rights Act and the Healthy Workplaces Healthy Families Act by adding designated person to the list of people for whom an eligible employee can take time off to care for. However, the term designated person was not defined the same under each act. So let's take a look at each act separately. The California Family Rights Act, sometimes referred to as the CFRA, provides eligible employees with up to 12 weeks of unpaid leave in a designated 12 month period for a qualifying reason. For example, to care for a family member with a serious health condition. The definition of family member under the CFRA was expanded to include designated person. And a designated person was defined as follows. Any individual related by blood or whose association with the employee is the equivalent of a family relationship. So when an employee requests CFRA leave to care for a designated person with a serious health condition, it's reasonable for the employer to ask, what is the relation or association of the person so as to determine if the designated person is someone who is related by blood or has an association that is equivalent of a family member. On the other hand, under the Healthy Workplaces Healthy Families Act, a designated person is defined simply as any person identified by the employee at the time the employee requests to take paid sick leave under that act. So under the Healthy Families Healthy Workplace Act, there's no requirement that the designated person be related by blood or have an association that is equivalent uh, to that of a family relationship. Therefore, a designated person under the Healthy Families Healthy Workplace Act could potentially be someone like the employee's roommate, a coworker, or even the next door neighbor. While the definition of designated person is not consistent between the two laws, the limits on designation are, under both the CFRA and the Healthy Families Healthy Workplaces Act, an employer can limit an employee's designation of a designated person to one person per 12 month period. Therefore, under each act, once a person takes time off for a designated person, they cannot name a new designated person and take time off for a different person within the same 12 month period. Well, that's it for today. You can continue to find installments of California Employment News on our blog at www.thelelawblog.com or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Thanks for joining. See you next time. Thank you.